Welcome to an example on how to use the one variable stat tool on the T84 to determine standard deviation when the data is given in a frequency table. In this example, we're asked to find the sample standard deviation of the aptitude scores shown below in the table. And we're asked to round to two decimal places. So the first step is to enter the data. So we'll enter the aptitude score in L1 and the frequency in L2. So we'll press stat, enter. Notice how we have some old data in L1. So we'll go to the top of the column, press clear, and then enter. This clears the entire column. And now we'll enter the aptitude scores, which are zero, enter, one, enter, two, enter, and so on. And now I'll press the right arrow and enter the frequency in L2. So we have six, enter, five, enter, three, enter, and so on. Now we want to select the one var stat tool. So we press stat, right arrow wants to calculate, and notice how the first option is one var stats. So we can press one or just enter because one is already highlighted, so I'll press enter. Next to list, we want to indicate where the data is located, which is in L1, so this is correct. If it was in L2, we enter L2 by pressing second and then number two. Next we have to enter where the frequency is located, so we press the down arrow or enter. The frequency list is L2, so we press second two, and again we can press down or enter, and then enter on calculate. The sample standard deviation is SX, which would be approximately 1.74. Sigma X is the population standard deviation, which would be approximately 1.70. This question asks for the sample standard deviation, so our answer is approximately 1.74. I also want to show a screenshot of the older version of the T84 or the 83, just in case that's the calculator you have. On the older version, if you select the one var stats, it appears on the home screen, and then we have to enter where the data is located, comma, the location of the frequency. So we'd enter L1 by pressing second one, comma, which is above the seven, and then second two for L2. Once you press enter from here, we'd have the same screen here. And just for review, remember if you're doing it by hand, this is the formula for sample standard deviation, and this is the formula for the population standard deviation. I hope you found this helpful.